Today's bike ride is an exploration of the trails, streets, bridges and hills of Manhattan Island. Leaving our building on West 57th Street, I turn right on Broadway to take 55th Street West to turn north on the Hudson River Greenway. It was a beautiful fall day in New York, sunny and about 53 degrees Fahrenheit. At West 86th Street, I decided to climb the stairs, a fairly steep and long climb up to Riverside Drive. I rode past the General Grant National Monument and the Riverbank State Park, continuing north towards the George Washington Bridge. I turned right on 165th Street, left on Fort Washington Avenue to cross under the George Washington Bridge on ramp, turning left onto 181st Street down to Lafayette Plaza, and turning right to join Riverside Drive for a short distance before crossing the Henry Hudson Parkway to join the Hudson River Greenway Trail north. I stopped briefly at Inspiration Point the white columns, all that remain of a Greek temple built here in 1925, with an impressive view of New Jersey across the Hudson River. Continuing north on the trail, I crossed Dykeman Street and entered the Inwood Hill Park, riding up to the northernmost point of Manhattan Island for a beautiful view of the New Jersey Palisades cliffs across the Hudson River. Trying to find the trail to cross the Henry Hudson Parkway, I missed the turn off and found myself crossing the Spuyton Devil Creek under Henry Hudson Bridge. Retracing my route, I found the hidden trail to the footbridge crossing the northbound lanes of the Hudson Parkway. A short distance later, I crossed under the southbound lanes. Climbing the long, steep hill on a small, rough trail, I made it to the top of Inwood Park and rode down a beautiful trail to exit the park at Payson Street. After turning left onto Dykeman, I then turned right at the Harlem River bike trail sign and started up the long and steep Fort George Hill climb up to West 193rd Street. I read that this was the highest natural point in Manhattan. Enjoying the downhill ride down St. Nicholas Avenue, I found my way over to Amsterdam Avenue towards the Harlem River. Not finding an access point to the trail, I made my way down to Central Park North. From here, I headed over to the east side on East 110th Street, and then down East 106th Street. Still not finding an access point to the Harlem River Trail, I took 2nd Avenue South to East 79th Street and then turning right on the FDR Drive service road. The road ended at the United Nations headquarters, so I turned right on East 49th Street and South on 2nd Avenue, here lined with covid enforced dining establishments in the street. Turning left at West 34th Street, I walked my bike through the local farmer's market and I finally found the access to the East River Greenway. This beautiful trail was a welcome relief after dodging traffic almost the whole length of Manhattan from north to south. Of course, now the obstacles were pedestrians as I crossed under the Williamsburg Bridge and on to the Manhattan and the Brooklyn Bridges. At Battery Park, I rounded the southern end of Manhattan Island. I lingered here for some time as I contemplated the meaning of this monument and said a prayer of gratitude this Saturday before Thanksgiving 2020 
for my family, my friends, and the privilege of having become an American. I came close to shedding a tear as I paid my respects at the immigrant monument, thinking of the sacrifices of so many over the millennia, and I counted myself fortunate indeed to be one. At West 57th Street, I exited the bike path and headed east to 9th Avenue, turning north and making a right on West 57th Street to arrive back at our building home after a lovely Saturday adventure in Manhattan. So, let's look at the metrics. The distance was 35.9 miles around Manhattan Island with saddle time 2 hours 52 minutes and the total time over 5 hours. Maximum speed 34, average speed 12.5 miles an hour, elevation gain 2,400, climbed 1,800 stairs, walked 11,000 steps, burned 3,006 calories, burned 708 exercise points, maximum heart rate 149 and the average heart rate 112. 